Facebook is the world's second most popular website after Google and the world's most popular social network. It's a very capable platform and has some awesome features for media sharing. It's got an amazing video sharing system and lets you upload videos as well as share videos from YouTube. That's why if you are a YouTube channel owner and have time and energy just for one social media network, then Facebook should be it. The reason is very simple. Facebook has the audience and the capabilities to bring you an amazing amount of traffic and to create a great impact on your YouTube business. All the other platforms like Twitter and Google Plus and Pinterest and many others, they are fine and they're useful in their own ways, but no one matches up to Facebook in terms of capabilities and audience. And on Facebook, there are a number of ways in which you can tap the audience, in which you can talk to people, show them your videos or what you're doing on your YouTube channel and get them to your YouTube channel. The first and the most important one according to me is Facebook fan pages. A Facebook fan page is a special page you create on Facebook for your YouTube channel where people can like the page and see the latest updates from you. Unlike having a friend relationship, there is no upper cap of 5000 subscribers or 5000 friend, friends for Facebook fan, fan pages. You can have an unlimited number of fans. And all the updates that you put on a fan page are uh, circulated to your fans depending on uh, how generous Facebook is feeling that day towards you. And the fans cannot just contact you directly or post on your Facebook fan page until unless you give them permission to do that. So it's a very great, good system to create a two-way system of communication or a one-way system of communication depending on how much involvement you want. So make sure you create the Facebook fan page the first thing when you create a YouTube channel. It's a must and from within your YouTube channel ask people to like your Facebook fan page. Ask people in descriptions in your videos or wherever you want to because if people like your Facebook fan page and you share media like videos or pictures or your messages or quotations or anything you want on the fan page, it will be circulated to the friends of the people who have liked your fan page and it will grow. This is a great way to find new people to watch your videos to come to your channel. So make sure that your fan page gets lots of updates. Typically, I would say update it uh, at least once per day, preferably thrice per day. And don't just limit it to the updates about your videos. Post all sorts of content. Post pictures, post motivational quotes, post messages to your viewers, talk to your viewers, post quizzes, Make sure that you post content that's shareable, that can go viral, that people would love to share on their own Facebook page. If you do that, your fan page growth will explode and it will take your YouTube channel along with it. The next awesome feature that Facebook gives you to reach out to people is Facebook groups. The Facebook groups are very different from Facebook fan pages. Well, the fan page is meant for two-way communications between you and the fan or the audience. You can send your updates to the audience and the audience members might be able, able to send you messages. The Facebook group, however, is more about community. When you create a Facebook group, your motive is to build a community around your brand or around your channel. The community members will work as peers, will be interacting as peers. So anybody can potentially post a message inside the group and other people will see it, they can reply to it and they can post their own messages. So use the Facebook fan page to create an audience and tap into that audience and use the Facebook groups to create a community. Uh, well, you can actually consider Facebook groups as a low capacity alternative to forums. Uh, the forums, of course, will have a lot more features like uh, different message boards and all those things, while a Facebook group doesn't have those, but it lets you tap into the audience uh, that Facebook has. 
because whenever a post is made in a Facebook group, it will reach out to a lot of the people who are subscribed to that group, who are members of that group. So use this feature to build a community around your brand and you will have the extra added advantage apart from the fan page. I would suggest that you should start with the fan page in the beginning and as your channel grows, as you get more viewers and more, and more fans on your fan page, you can invite them to the group and the people who are in the group will be your core community, your core followers to who you can, to, you can promote all sorts of products or offers or you can interact with them on a very personal level. So this is the strategy that you can use to step up the engagement level on your uh, Facebook page or on your Facebook drive. The next we have events. Facebook events are not used as often as they should be. Using events, you can draw people to your channel and build a very engaged community. Many people don't use events because they feel an event has to be in the physical world. But that's not true at all. You can have a virtual event in the form of a webinar or a Google Hangout and you can invite people to it. When people confirm they are attending an event, it reflects on their profile and their friends also see it. This helps you get more people. And YouTube has full support for it. YouTube in fact has introduced the concept of live hangouts where you can actually telecast the hangouts you do through YouTube to your audience or you can record the hangouts and then have them uploaded as a video on YouTube and telecast it to the viewers. So the events or the Google Hangouts will not only be a source of engagement, a source of uh, viewer partnership, but they will also be a source of content for you. So go on and tap it if you can, if your channel format allows it. Here are some quick tips for you to help you get better success on Facebook. First, always share all your videos on your Facebook fan page or your Facebook group if you have one. Make sure you set a custom thumbnail on your video before you share it because the custom thumbnail will attract the viewer's attention. Also make sure that your video has a catchy title and a description. If your original video on YouTube doesn't have a catchy title and the description is not so good, then you can always change the title and the description when you share the video on Facebook. Now remember that Facebook embeds the video in the browser itself and it will play the video from right within Facebook. So one of the tricks I use to engage the viewer and make him watch the video is to ask him a question based on the video. People are curious you know and they will often play the video just to find the answer. You can also ask the viewer to share the video or to like it and people will often do it just because you asked them to. So use these ways and you will definitely find that your Facebook performance will improve and your videos will get shared more and liked more on Facebook.